to demonstrate how to sample off an art line using the three-way softcock method. Um, so first things you need to do is to check your physician's order. You want to get your requisition for the order and on it have obtained and fill out um, the ventilator settings or the patient's FiO2. You also need your patient's label, usually a little white sticker in the hospital. Um, the other equipment you want to gather is the blue pad, which we already have under this patient's arm. You want gloves, your biohazard bag, an arterial blood gas syringe. The ones we're using in this lab are an arterial blood gas kit, so it does have a needle in there that we do not need. You need two syringes, five mils, alcohol, three blunt plastic cannula, and something I'll show you is using a piece of gauze to help protect from a little bit of splattering that can occur. So when you're ready to do um, the procedure, what you need to do is introduce yourself to the patient first. Um, so, hi, I'm Jennifer, I'm from the respiratory therapy department, and then check their ID band. So this would have to be on the other patient's other arm in this case. And then you want to explain the procedure. So I'm simply going to be drawing a blood sample off of the art line. Um, you won't experience any discomfort. There's no needles involved. Okay. So. When you're ready to do this, you need to wash your hands first off and then don your gloves. Hopefully they're nice and purple like these ones. Something before you want to start messing with this system is to silence your alarms because they'll be going off throughout the whole procedure otherwise. So make sure you silence the patient monitor. Then to do the procedure, you need to set up this equipment. So each of the syringes you need to open and put on the blunt plastic cannula. These are the needleless systems, and most of the hospitals are using this in this method to help prevent infections occurring in the line. And again, this art line kit does contain a needle, so we won't be using that needle. We can set that aside and we'll put it in the sharps container later. Something to note when you're using an arterial blood gas syringe on an art line is they will sometimes come with a vented syringe and sometimes non-vented. If it's a vented syringe, you want to pull it back to about one mil, which is the sample size we're taking. If it's non-vented, you just want the plunger fully pushed in so you can withdraw later. So attach the blunt plastic cannula to that and make sure you keep your cap ready for later. So the first step here is to alcohol the procedure site. So it is a little rubber port. You want to alcohol it clean and let it dry for 30 seconds. 30 seconds later, you will insert, you want to insert your first waste syringe here. So right now my port is off to that sample port here. You just want to cover the gauze around a little bit because it might squirt a little bit of fluid out at you. So you can insert that syringe. You can now change this port off to the system. What we're doing here is taking the heparinized fluid out of the tubing and withdrawing the blood. So withdraw slowly, and you can see the blood in the line here, and you want to withdraw about five mils of waste. So this allows a pure blood sample in the line. Once you've withdrawn the five mils, turn your stopcock off, to th everything off is what we call it. So halfway between either side port there, and that closes all three ports. Again, cover with gauze and withdraw the syringe and set that aside. We will discard of that properly later. Now you're going to use your arterial blood gas syringe and poke into the rubber port there. It will sometimes bounce back at you. You just got to find the magic spot there. Now turn your port off to the system again and withdraw your pure arterial blood gas sample. Again, about one mil will do. Turn it off to everything and pull that off. We'll set that aside for later. The last step is clearing this line of blood. We don't want the blood to clot up in this line. So how we're going to do that is again using our second waste syringe. We'll insert that into the side port. And now you're going to turn this port off to the patient. So now we're hooked up to the system. And when I flush using the flush system, I'm pulling back on the syringe until this side port is clear of blood. Now you can turn off to the side port and withdraw the syringe. The last thing we need to do here is to clear that part of the line with blood. 
Again, using this pigtail flush system, you want to intermittently flush this. So this helps prevent um, any ischemia from happening down distally. So intermittent flushing until it's clear of blood. Once that's done, you want to check the site to make sure it looks okay, that there's no complications such as leaking of blood there, and make sure there's good perfusion in the hand. Then go back to your patient monitor. You want to take it off silent, so arm the alarm again, and make sure you have a good arterial blood pressure waveform and that the pressure reading is about the same as what it was when you started. Now you need to clean up. So the first thing you want to do is to take your arterial blood gas, get rid of that blunt plastic cannula, make sure there's no air bubbles in your sample, and put the cap on it. You will then label that and put it in the biohazard bag with your requisition. The rest, make sure you separate your sharps. So the blunt plastic cannula are considered sharps. Those will go into the biohazard container along with that needle from the arterial blood gas kit. The rest of this can go in the garbage. You can de-glove and wash your hands again.